happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited i am a part of a big collab it is called the spotlight collab challenge and this week we have a theme that we're going to be working on it is the pac-man theme and the lovely ladies that chose this theme was lisa from dana argus nails she's a really talented nail artist that does a wonderful job with designs using gel products and she's a wizard with the hand painted nail art y'all and we also have sheena from nail addict she she's super creative and thinks outside the box with her lovely poly gel designs and so definitely go and check them out show them some love and support i'll leave both their youtubes and instagrams linked down in the description box below and so yeah y'all let's hop into this set I am going to be using the A-Press dupe method with my full cover tips. I'm going to be using a couple of colors from Young Nails, Fizz, Overdrive, Sonic, and Mega Jam. I have a black from Beatles, a Bella Vina double dip top coat, which I'll be using to apply my full cover tips. I also have a gel liner from Double Dip slash Bella Vina. I'll be going in with this red from Beatles, and then I'll be going in with my yellow from Nail Addict. So yeah, y'all, let's hop right on into this. So I've already applied my favorite peel off base coat. That's the Maran peel off base coat. I've applied that to all of my nails. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use that double dip slash Bella Vina, uh, top coat to apply my full cover tips. I like using top coat when I know I'm gonna have a pop off method because it'll allow me to easily remove my nails. And then if I wanted to, I can reuse them as press ons in the future. So yeah, here I'm going in with the top coat. I'm just filling the inside of the full cover tip applying it to my natural nail and then flash carrying it underneath my mini LED lamp for about 10 seconds. I'm going to repeat this process um, for the next couple of nails. And once I have all of my nail tips applied, I am going to file shape and buff the nail tips. And then I'm going to go in with that beautiful black color from Beatles and apply that to all of the nails. I'll let you all watch me apply that beautiful black color you all can see in one coat. It is a nice opaque black, but I'm going to apply that to all the nails and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so this is what the nails look like after the two coats of the black gel polish. I am going to go in with this top coat from SXC Cosmetics and just apply it to all the nails. I did that off camera. This is what they look like with the top coat. It is really nice and glossy. So now I'm going to go in with a couple of nail art tools. I do have the uh, micro detailer brush from Young Nails, um, another liner brush from Young Nails, one from Shein, a couple of dotting tools, um, this little palette here and brush holder as well as that beautiful, nice white bow palette. Um, I'm just gonna kinda get everything set up so that um, I have what I need in order to make this nail art process as easy as possible. So first I'm gonna go in with this blue gel liner brush from um, Double Dip slash Bella Vina. And that's what I'm gonna use to actually draw the lines um, of the Pac-Man board. So the theme of this um, design um, as soon as I heard what the theme was that we were going to be doing for the week, which is the Pac-Man nails, I immediately knew what I was going to do. This uh, design idea immediately popped into my head. And so the theme of this is going to be Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man love. And so you all will see I'm going to draw kind of the game board for Pac-Man. I'll insert a picture here so you all can kind of see um, what I was kind of using as my guide. Um, but this is what... Um, I plan on doing so I plan on drawing the board um, and then having Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man come towards each other kind of you know like they're gonna give each other some sugar some love um, and then some hearts and such so you all will see that as we progress through the design but um, this here is the first line that I did I was actually pretty impressed that I was able to get that line um, on the first try um, the rest of my line art was not as uh, easy as that first one was but um, I definitely had a lot of fun um, getting back into doing some um, freehand nail art it's been a while since I've done some um, I think the last time I did it was uh, my black history month nails and previous to that the last time I had did it was Halloween so I don't play around with nail art um, as much as I would like to but I really love the fact that this challenge um, make me step outside the box and um you know pull out my artistic abilities again so yeah i'll let you all uh, finish watching me kind of draw the rest of this board here and i'll be back shortly Thank you. 
when doing freehand nail art um, it's important that if you make any mistakes or don't have straight lines that you go in with a brush just to kind of crisping up everything to make um, your nail art look nice and neat and then once you have it looking the way you want you can check it from different angles and then go ahead and flash cure it um, in between drawing each of these lines I did flash cure for about five to ten seconds just to kind of seal the the parts of the nail art that I did like to seal it in place so that when I was going in with the next um, you know phase of my nail art I wasn't you know maybe disrupting something that I thought was good so I just finished off of my nail art on my middle finger I'm gonna be moving on to my ring finger now and continuing that board across all four of the nails and so when I hold my hand down and you look at it it'll kind of look like one continuous um, image my first few attempts on this particular nail it, it took a while so this one here is my first attempt and um, I kept trying to draw the line it kept coming in a little bit too thick other times a little bit too thin but eventually I was able to get it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let you all continue watching me finish up the rest of this um, board here. And I will be back shortly. So here I was able to get the game board to my liking. So at this point I cured for a full 60 seconds. Um, this is what all four fingers look like completed. Um, I did go ahead and decide to do that pinky um, finger. I drew a ghost on both the pinky and the index. I did the pinky off camera um, just to save a little bit of time. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you all how I recreated this pinky ghost on my index finger. I'm gonna go in with the Young Nails Color Mega Jam and the micro detailer brush and um take my time to join this ghost you guys this ghost took me forever to do like the blue ghost that i did on my pinky it literally only took me maybe like five or ten minutes to do the one on my index finger it took me a whole hour to get this ghost i don't know what it was but i just couldn't get it to look right but eventually I got it done. But yeah, I really love using this Young Nails Micro Detailer Brush for any type of detailed nail art that I need to do. This brush comes in clutch every single time. So I highly recommend it. And to be honest, at this point, I had been trying so hard to film me drawing this ghost that I just went ahead and did it off camera so that I can get it the way to look the way I needed it to look. Um, but now you'll see me going in and drawing Mrs. Pac-Man. I did use my yellow from Nail Addict to um, draw this and my dotting tool. And I was surprised I was actually able to get this on like the first try and it turned out really good. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and cured that in place before I messed up anything. But Mr. Pac-Man, he gave me a little bit of a hard time. He wasn't as easy to draw. I had to go in uh, a couple of times um, to try and get him to look right. Um, but this is where I'm going to be drawing Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man going towards each other, trying to give each other, you know, some sugar, a little love, a little TLC, you know. So I have my Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man happening here. Now I just need to go in with some red and complete the detailing on Mrs. Pac-Man. So here's the image that I'm trying to replicate on my nail here. Um, I did decide to go ahead and put Mrs. Pac-Man on my ring finger, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add in um, her lips, her bolt, and her mole. So with this really fine cuticle stick, I just added two dots at the top and bottom for her lipstick. And then I made two small triangles that meet at the top to create her bow. Um, and next I'm going to go in and draw her eyes and the mole. I just used some black for that. And um, yeah, it was pretty simple to do the detailing on her. So I was happy that that didn't take too long. And that's how she's looking, y'all. Y'all see? Oh my gosh, y'all see my little Miss Pac-Man. She cute though. So at this point, I'm creating the eyes for the ghost here. And then I'm gonna go in and put their blue pupils in after I do the white dots. And yeah, y'all. She is coming together quite nicely. So while I was doing this set, I actually 
uh, was on the phone with a sales representative. They were trying to do some, you know, sales, get me to buy something that I didn't really need. So I just wanted to insert a clip of that because the lady was so sweet. She went above and beyond. Okay. It was kind of cute. So I left that party in. Okay, okay, okay. So this is what I found out. If you hear me breathing, because I breathe. Oh, you so sweet. Hold it long. Okay, so I went ahead and added the hearts off camera. I just used dotting tools to make the hearts. And that's to really bring the Pac-Man love theme um, that I had in my head to life. Now, aren't they just so cute? Look at Mr. and Mrs. getting ready to give each other some sugar. So here, um, I'm thinking about how I want to do the dots. I originally was going to go in with some rhinestones to, you know, jazz up the set because y'all know I love me some lingtivity. Um, but I actually had these sequins that I wanted to put to use. So I opted to use these instead. And I really like them because they still look like bling while also remaining really flat on the nail. I did go ahead and wipe the nail with some alcohol to cleanse it and then I went in with a very very thin layer of base coat um, and while the base coat was still wet I went ahead and adhered the sequins um, to the nail so I'm gonna go ahead and add these dots all along the uh, game board um, on all four of the fingers and these little sequins were kind of interesting to work with um, I found that a lot of them were like stacked on top of each other so I had to kind of separate them and add them on but yeah they were really nice and easy to work with and i really love the effect that they gave the nails so yeah here i'm just continuing um to add them on and yeah i really love the look and the effect that they gave to the nails so once i'm done with this i'm going to come back and hop into my thumb y'all that was an interesting nail to do I just absolutely love the effect that these sequins gave. Now I'm gonna go in with some top coat um, to seal in the design on all of the fingers. After you all um, apply the top coat, make sure you're capping the free edge, and then I turn the hand over for about 10 seconds so that um, all of the gel can flow and fully encapsulate everything. And y'all, I'm just loving how nicely this set is coming together. So y'all, I had to give a moment of silence to my poor little mixing plate. It's the very next day and I left my gel polish sitting on here for like six hours and it completely ruined my mixing plate. I was so sad because this was my first time using it and it got ruined, but anywho, next I'm going in with the Young Nails Fizz um, and I'm going in with a dotting tool and this is what I'm going to be using to um, draw the um, lettering on my thumbnail. I did decide to go ahead and put in um, high score. Um, and this is what I'm using as my guide for the lettering. And so, yeah, y'all, this took forever to do. Um, my first attempt at it did not go well. Y'all know I've mentioned it in plenty of my videos. I do have chicken scratch handwriting, okay? So that first attempt, I actually had to wipe off and try again. I was really nervous about doing this because like I said, my handwriting isn't the best, but I really, really tried and I think the final result came out pretty good. Um, overall, y'all, this nail alone took me another two hours to do and it just, <laughs> Freehand nail art is no joke, but the end result always amazes me of how good it looks. So yeah, I'll let you guys um, watch me go ahead and try to clean up the lines here and try to get the lettering to look as nice and neat as humanly possible for someone like me who got that chicken scratch handwriting. And so yeah, y'all, I'm gonna let y'all finish watching me do that and I will be back shortly.
So yeah, y'all, I was really excited to be a part of this spotlight collab challenge. Um, I thought it was really cool to be uh, paired up with a group of uh, talented nail artists to challenge ourselves to just do different types of nail art. And so every week um, for the month of May, uh, we'll be doing different themed uh, nail art. And so definitely make sure you guys come back next Saturday. I will be um, taking on a whole nother theme. I'm doing a whole new design. And so, yeah, I'm super excited to, um, you know, challenge myself to do more nail art like this. I definitely don't do this enough on my channel. So I'm excited to dig in my collection and really get super creative with um, my designs. And so, yeah, you guys, now I'm going to go in and try to draw these cherries. I'm trying to show you here what I'm trying to replicate on my nail. And so I am gonna go in with this red from Beatles. I do have a dotting tool that I'm gonna use for the cherries. Um, this was pretty easy to do. I mean, I really just put two dots next to each other and I was able to create that little, um, and I was able to create the cherries. Here I'm going in with my yellow from Nail Addict and I'm going to be using just a little bit of that on this dotting tool to create the stem of the cherries. And once I get the stems created, I'm going to go in with that white and just kind of create like that, I guess, highlight on the cherries to really make them feel like they're kind of 3D. Um, and so yeah, after I finish that up, I'm going to go in with some more red and draw more hearts at the bottom of the high score. Again, just trying to tie into that Pac-Man love theme that I had envisioned in my head. And so yeah, y'all, I'm really liking um, how everything is turning out. After I finish drawing the hearts, I am going to go in with another layer of thin base coat and I'm going to apply a, more of those circular sequins um, to really tie that nail in with the rest. I had originally did the circular sequins. Um, I outlined the entire nail with them because I really wanted this thumb to just kind of pop. But I realized um, after adding all the sequins in that it kind of took away from the design a little bit. Like I felt like it was too much going on on the thumbnail to where the high score you were really distracted from it because you were looking at the sequins that came up um, along the side of the nail. I actually ended up off camera removing the sequins that I put along the side of the nail just to make sure that the nail art stood out. And it's okay to do that. Um, that's like another thing when you're doing nail art. It's like you want it to be, you know interesting and eye-catching but you don't want so much of it going on that it kind of takes away from the design so yeah you all see me lining the side of the nail here i actually end up going off camera and removing all of that so y'all know i'm a little extra when i finish my designs and when i finish bringing my nail art to life so i did leave in the original audio so y'all can hear my initial reaction to my design and y'all know i was super hype on this one all right you guys ain't she cute though Y'all, let's take a moment for this masterpiece, okay? I was channeling my inner Picasso with this design. Do y'all see how this turned out? I absolutely love this, okay? This is probably one of the most challenging sets I have ever done. This set took me a total of six hours to do with that nail art, but I'm so happy with how it turned out. So again, this is my Pac-Man theme, and y'all see Mrs. Pac-Man is going over to get her some some sugar from mr pac-man okay that's why we got the hearts here this is pac-man love okay i am absolutely loving how this turned out and y'all do y'all see my little ghost wow yeah y'all i ain't gonna lie i did that i did that i really did it's so cute wow 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 very very impressed with how this turned out all right y'all so yeah, this is my design for my Spotlight Collab Challenge. Let me know what you guys think. Got the high score here, and then we got the little hearts. Again, going with that theme of love. And y'all, I just, 
yes okay yes <laughs> and yes I was gonna add some bling in where you all see the dots at but honestly I just decided to go with these little sequins here and I think that was like the perfect touch because they lay nice and flat and so that was my attempt at adding bling without adding bling and yeah I just I love how it turned out you guys um, and then I really tried, now y'all have seen my handwriting, I have chicken scratch handwriting, but y'all see that the high score I did, I did all right, I did all right. It's, it's uh, legible, so <laughs> I'm not mad at that. So yeah, y'all, this is actually my sketch of my nails, and then this is it brought to life. So what do y'all think? I think I did pretty good, y'all. I think I did pretty darn good. Let's see. Yeah, y'all see that? Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes! So as y'all can see, um, I'm a little extra and I always get really hype about my designs, especially when they come out how I envision them. And so yeah, y'all, that's just a good reminder too. Y'all gotta be our own biggest cheerleaders, okay? So anywho, um, yeah, I really had a lot of fun with this design. Um, definitely make sure you go and check out all of the other participants of the Spotlight Collab Challenge. I'm going to leave everybody's YouTube and um, Instagram channels linked down below. So make sure you go over to their channel, show them some love, show them some support. Be sure to come back next Saturday to see our theme for next week. And yeah, y'all, all this month, this is going to be a ton of fun. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursday in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye